Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Uh. Once it's in, it it clicks in and it stays. To thank my first patrons that are supporting. You should let me know. Guys, welcome back. There's a. Uh, an item that I brought with me from Daytona, purely decorative. And I told you, I picked it up by Zero 3D. I told you that once I get back to New Jersey, I'm gonna install it. So let's do that now. Uh, I'll take the bike out and we'll start the install. A little drunk when I'm alright. Let me show you what uh what I'm installing. Look at the bike now. Look at the uh, finesses, okay? Look at the bolts on the covers and right here, the other side. Take a look. You look at this nice this nice engine, this nice spike, and you see like everything is chrome and then all of a sudden this color uh different color or over here everything is nicely blacked out and then this these bolts are not color matched they're it sticks it sticks out they they pop out with their it's it's not a fine finesse so zero 3d came out with uh i think they had quite have them quite a while now let me show you purely cosmetic upgrade yeah and this is what it is it's caps it's plastic chromed it's chrome plastic caps that go on top of your bolts and give it a nice uh finish a nice uh, color matching i got chrome but i have obviously have a few parts that are blacked out so i got also blacked out you can find a link down by the description you know already how to get there so let me put it on, let me install it and show you what it looks like before and after. Pretty easy install. Show you the other side. So this is the item itself. It, they're called uh, Zero Bolt Caps. This is the part number, part uh, 70021. Fits 17 and up, Harley Davidson Touring models and soft tails as well. A kit, all chrome. I think this is the price as you see on top. Check it online for the pricing. This is an additional, uh, like I said, uh, the larger bolts, uh, bolt caps for this part. Let's open it up and see. I think it's it was made of plastic since it's uh, a bit fragile or delicate. Better off using a mallet uh, and a, a little piece of fabric, get it on. Once it's in, it, it clicks in and it stays there. I wanna grab this mallet and a rag. The bigger uh, bolt cover, bolt cap. Pretty much a plastic, plastic cap. Can you see it? Plastic cap. And it simply snaps in into place. Okay, you need force. And I would actually say to use mallet like they said yep it just taps into place if there's no click it just it's in by force and it's held in by force and it gives it a nice cover of this uh, aluminium color black over black Let's do the rest. Let me 
always try without tapping, just applying pressure. That works too. Just applying pressure on the top, maybe even with uh, covering with a little a little rag so you don't mar or scratch this, although it didn't scratch it, but that can help. Let's do that one. in all the way in I'll do this one even even deeper in how are you doing, how are you doing? oh yeah and it's all the way in same thing here I need to get a, a little cover over here there's a plastic cover since I took my uh, passenger pegs off I got in. Whoops. I tapped it too hard and it broke. I tapped it too hard. So you don't need to, like I said, avoid tapping it too hard. It actually broke. Last one over here, this guy right here. The trick is to keep constant pressure on it and don't tap it. Because this one, as you can see, split a little bit on me over here, right here. It's because I tapped it. There you go. Okay, that went well, that was easy. Now I'll do these guys. Chrome, chrome them up. See the difference now between this one and this one? Look at it. Small touches, small touches. By the way, I'd like to thank Andy. Andy, you know, you're the one that uh, suggested me to do that by Ciro when we met you at Ciro. You and your, your son, Keith, thank you very much. Great tip, really looks nice. Cause I've been hanging with you and it feels like love. Tell me if I'm wrong Cause it feels like love Yeah, it feels like love Come on, come on, come on, come on Come on, come on uh. Won't you hear with me? Am I out of my mind? Or is this how it should be? You made me sing about love. So just tell me if I'm wrong. But it feels like love. Yeah, it feels like love. Yeah. Don't know what you do, you Finished up this side. the whole cam cam case cover covered with the uh, bolts with the cap bolt caps I did this whole area these two got a lot left so I'm gonna go to the other side start the other side then see if I have leftovers for the tap it tap it cover bolts right here all four of these or eight of these looking really nice up till now here the match is not going to be perfect because as you know the electric glide standard comes this is polished aluminum it's not chrome so the color match is not going to be perfect let's uh, start putting these on.
Well, I covered everything I could find on the other side, and I got a lot of leftovers. So I'm literally going over the engine and seeing where it can fit. And actually, I found uh, upper the rocker covers. It can fit over here, the larger ones. I'll do that, and I'll have some spares to put over here. The tappet covers, the bolts over here. And over here, I would put, but I don't have a, bla a set of black. I only have chrome left. So I'm gonna, only gonna go wherever it's chrome, I'm gonna put chrome on. I pretty much should have bought a, a set of black and a set of chrome. So I have enough to, to work with. A little, a little, a little. A little crazy for you now. A little crazy for you now. A little crazy for you now, baby, I... I was able to get it over here and over here. Oh, obviously over here I can't get it. The proper way to do it would probably be, not, not probably for sure, be to take the tank off. I'm not gonna do that right now. I'm gonna save them next time I take the fuel tank off. I'm gonna add these covers. I was able to get it over here and over here. Yeah, I was just able to get these caps on onto these bolts. Look at the difference between the one with the cap, the one with that to cap. These are without the cap. And you put one over here and you'll see the difference. Beep. 10 second break, guys. I just launched my new Patreon page. I'd like to thank my first patrons that are supporting Fred Peck, Jose Castillo, and Mark C. Thank you very much, guys. I appreciate it. See the difference? With and without, I think it's pretty significant. We do the rest. So finally, I was able to get uh, all the way in there to get the cap, the bolt caps, all the way in there. Got a hundred percent covered. So let me show you what it looks like now after after I've done it. That's it guys, a small, small little touches, not expensive. Uh, links down by the description where you can pick it up and do this like small, small tweaks to beautify a little bit your bike. By the way, I listened to you guys and the last video got a lot, a lot of uh, responses and a lot of answers and a lot of suggestions what to do. I do appreciate you guys, uh, you know, writing down below what your opinion is about whether I should keep the bike or trade it in. Definitely got some ideas from you guys. Rather than uh, probably try to sell it myself than giving it to the uh, to the dealership. There are advantages for giving it to the dealership or trying to sell it by myself. I'll talk about that in the next video. But that's it for now, guy. Hope you enjoyed this short little video. I'm Sandy, watching Holy Shift. Till the next video, guys. Peace out. Yeah.